On June the 18th, the Royal Society of Chemistry released a joint statement of action on inclusion and diversity in publishing. The Company of Biologists uh, is working with the RSC and other publishers on this initiative. I'm here with Catherine Brown, the executive editor of the General Development. Catherine was a participant in one of the workshops that led to this joint statement. So Catherine, can you summarise what the key message of the statement is? So I think the um, the key message of the statement is really that we as a group of publishers uh, understand that there are issues of diversity and inclusion in academic publishing. Uh, we understand that we need to learn more about what those disparities are um, across different fields as well. And also that not only do we want to to figure out whether there are where there are potential biases, but also that we want to work together to actually do something to try and improve the situation uh, for underrepresented minorities across academic publishing. So why did the company get involved with this initiative? So we've actually got a bit of history of working with the Royal Society of Chemistry um, on this. Um, we're part of a, a group of local publishers who meet from time to time to uh, talk about projects that we're doing. And when the RSC uh, started their gender analysis uh, a few years ago, they were kind enough to share their methodologies and also to help us to do a similar analysis on the company biologist journals. And so uh, we've recently released some data looking at uh, gender disparities among our author and reviewer pools at the journals. Um, but I think that one of the things that we've also realised and actually also came out of that analysis was that there are also disparities in terms of things like geography. So we know, for example, that uh, the numbers of submissions of papers from authors in China has been growing quite rapidly over recent years. But what hasn't grown to the same extent is our use of Chinese based uh, referees to review papers. And so we know that we're underrepresented within certain geographic groups. And we suspect the same might be true in all sorts of other areas of diversity. So we feel like we really need to understand some of these issues better. And when the chance came to work with a group of publishers to sort of pool resources and do this in a common way, we were very keen to get involved. And um, so what is the company doing to understand and promote diversity and inclusion? So I think the biggest thing that we've done recently, you know, I would say that we're really, we feel that we're at the beginning of our journey with this. But the one thing that we've done recently is to launch uh, the Node Network. So the Node is a community blog for the developmental biology and stem cell field. And uh, back in January, we launched the network, which is a database, a global database of researchers, um, which is intended to help people to find speakers for meetings, um, members of panels or committees, uh, reviewers for papers, anything where they're really looking for um, individuals and where they want to perhaps uh, identify the people who don't immediately come to mind um, and to better diversify their, their conference or whatever. So in addition to providing information about scientific expertise, the Node Network also provides um, any diversity information that the member wants to disclose, um, whether that be gender or ethnicity or LGBTQ status or disability or whatever. And then users can actually search for people um, based on some of those diversity aspects as well as based on scientific expertise. OK, so as well as the network, what's coming next? So um, I think one of the things that we're starting to do some work on is to um, in addition to our publishing activities, we also run uh, workshops and meetings and have some various charitable activities. And we're starting to look at some of the demographics um, of those as well. And I think just across the whole board of what we do, we really need to understand those demographics better because you can't fix a problem until you understand it properly. Um, we're planning a series of discussions across the company, um, including key stakeholders such as our editorial teams um, to educate ourselves better, as well as to plan concrete actions. Um, and I think that we're really looking forward particularly to working with this broader group of publishers with the other signatories of this joint statement um, to share knowledge, um, to share best practice um, and really to sort of pool our resources so that um, all of this talk about improving um, diversity and inclusion actually leads to some concrete actions. Great. Thank you, Catherine. Um, Catherine has written a post over on the note. Um, so for more information and some relevant links, I'd really encourage you to go check that out. Thanks, Annabelle. Thank you.